All right. Well, uh, um, what a pleasure to have everybody gathered here for the demonstration of the um, uh, always re M-phase Always Ready Lithium Pouch Battery. Um, what I'd like to do is just get everybody oriented as to what I have in front of me here. Um, I have a multimeter, a voltmeter, basically, um, that I, I just want to get you all oriented. What I did was I, I took the, the small prismatic battery out of my cell phone, which is a three and a half volt rechargeable lithium battery. So just by putting the, the probes of the electrode of the um, multimeter on there, if anybody here just wants to just record, basically I'm getting a four volt reading, approximately what we would expect from this fully charged lithium battery. And what, what I'm basically using this is a, just as a reference point. So we're getting four volts on this. This battery was activated a week ago and started off as a reserve battery, but basically it's now functioning as a primary battery. And if I take the probes of the multimeter and basically do a reading on that, even though there's um, an LED there, basically the reading is, oops, here we go, two volts with the LED illuminated. If I remove the LED, it's hard to do this with just the two hands, but you'll see that the voltage is now three volts. Okay, we had a load across the leads, which is why the voltage drops. So, fully activated battery, this one will just sit basically as a regular or primary battery until its life is expended. So I just basically put that off to the side. Now what we have here is an unactivated battery. So this is a pristine, inert battery. This thing could sit on the shelf for an indefinite period of time. This is the indefinite shelf life concept. Um, the electrode and the electrolyte are kept apart from one another. And what I'm going to do here is just, I'm going to manually activate this battery. I'm gonna make sure that the um, uh, electrolyte is pushed through the membrane, the barrier, and comes into contact with the electrodes. Um, what I'm doing here is basically, I'm touching the LED tip to the second terminal. The light does not come on because there's no voltage. And again, by using the multimeter, I will not get a voltage across this because basically there's nothing activated. Okay, so there's our zero reading on voltage. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate the battery. So I'm going to basically put my finger on the second terminal so that I'm holding down, basically the LED is making contact with both sides and I'm gonna activate the battery. Oh, there's a green LED here. There we go. So you can see that it ramps up immediately. I actually, that, that deceived me, so I thought it was, a red, it was supposed to be a red, a red LED is on this one here. But basically the LED is illuminated. When I take off the, my finger from the terminal, basically the LED goes out, reattach it, the LED comes back on. Um, what I'm gonna do is make a voltage measurement. And there's our three volts, okay? So demonstration of success. We are in the process now of packaging uh, a multitude of these batteries for demonstration. So now this is effectively a functional battery, just like this one here, just like the battery in my cell phone. Um, if I continue to leave this attached, it'll drain just like any battery will. If I keep this protected, this will basically sit uh, like a regular primary battery for an some finite period of time until it drains. But that's the uh, essence of what we're doing. Again, mechanically activated, in this case, May 20th, we'll have the demonstration of the actual electro-wetting phenomenon where this will be done through the, um, in, the uh, putting in of a pulse, a voltage pulse, to cause this to occur either by a wired mechanism or a wireless mechanism.